Hamzat Shemaev's officially scanned his entire audience with his meme coin smash. I think that a lot of people didn't see didn't see a scam coming from him because he's never been associated to those types of deals. And he's never really advertised too many things. So when someone of that stature starts advertising something, people are going to drift towards it and believe that it's a good investment, especially when they see that they don't invest often and don't take many offers. So you would think that the ones that they do take are gonna be very valid, very good, and justified. But sadly, tens of thousands, if not millions of people are out of millions of dollars. And the SEC has nothing to do with this, obviously. That's the whole point of cryptocurrency and the blockchain. But it is still illegal to promise one thing and not fulfill it new meme coin called smash which is comes that slogan has now dropped over 95 percent so that's leading many people to believe that comes has pretty much rug pulled his fans he's deleted all tweets and messages on social media regarding the meme coin but he heavily advertised it let everybody know that it's pretty much his coin um, named after him and his slogan and the coin 100 percent is a rug pull and he just scammed a lot of his fans there's been some further investigation on this and there's been about almost 30 wallets that are connected to it's about 28 wallets that are the Solana blockchain. So thankfully it wasn't terribly available everywhere. That probably helped a lot of people not get scammed that you can see on the blockchain that have pulled out all the money. You can follow on the blockchain kind of where the money goes. You can see what wallets they go to. You just don't really know who owns them, who owns the wallet. So 28 wallets are um, accountable for the 95% rug pull. So 28 people accounted for the entire market cap to drop 95%. So I would say that would be everyone involved with the coin. You know, the 20 or 30 people involved in making the coin took whatever equity they had and pulled it out. And that left the very little bit that the people bought up to make the price go up. They are the ones that paid for it. The ones that invested hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in this worthless coin. Hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in this worthless coin are the ones that are simply paying for it. And that's what makes the coin go up. And then they take their, their you know, smash coins that were given to them for free. And they sell them. And they cash out, and that's how they make their money. They're not paid cash to make these coins. They're given, you know, tons of free coins. And when it goes up, they they pull out. There's always a small rug pull in every, in every new coin. You know, that's how a lot of people get paid, is they get given free coins. You know, all, everybody swears they're going to hold them, but a lot of these people aren't that wealthy that are working behind the scenes making these coins. So when they see that, they're, oh my God, now it's worth a hundred grand or whatever they were given, they're going to pull out and take it. I just want to know your opinion. I mean, this is going to really hurt Kamzat's reputation. And on top of it, Khabib's on the run. Apparently, he's, uh, he owes a lot of money to the, to the wrong people taxes in Dubai. The Russian government's after him. He's fled his own country. Connor's got some apparent, on top of everything else he's dealing with, Connor's got some stuff that he said that can jeopardize his MMA legacy. And he's waiting and holding on it, sitting on it. Connor's smart. Give him that. Now, Kamzat's reputation has taken quite a fall over the past few years after some weight cut misses, 
after some illnesses, some suspicious illnesses, after some suspicious friendships with the dictator in uh, his country over there. Let me know, were you someone who invested in Smashcoin? Um, you're, you know, legally obligated when you sell something, some, sell something to somebody to fulfill your other end of the obligation for whatever they paid for. Appreciate all y'all. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace out. Be safe.